Well, hello, everybody. Uh, some updates. My wife is doing so much better. She's able to eat and uh, not feel too bad after she eats. She's uh, active again. And uh, me, 12 days now, I've had this viral bacterial lung infection. I'm on my 12th or 13th day, and I'm almost over it. But I have coughed so much, I've just ruined my voice. My throat is killing me. So uh, I may not get through this without stopping. I may lose my voice. All the babies are here. Sonny Bunny, Lucy Bell, and my buddy Breezy Boy. So, let me turn the TV off. Let me tell you about my wrist. There are bones between your hand and your wrist called the scaphoid. And the time, there's just tiny little bones. And uh, it turns out that the injury I had, which is a cracked scaphoid, a fractured scaphoid, is the most common wrist injury. And it happens exactly how it happened to me. People falling and then catching themselves with their hand outstretched like that. And the weight of your body cracks the scaphoid bone. 70% uh, of, of all wrist injuries are a scaphoid bone injury, fracture. So, uh, you know, I get my x-ray at the emergency room. My hand was swollen up so bad that I had to take my ring off because uh, my fingers were swollen up. My wrist was swollen up. My arm was swelling up, and uh, it didn't hurt immediately, but after a few hours, it was really throbbing and painful. So I get to the emergency room, and uh, they take an x-ray, and sure enough, uh, the doctor, the x-ray tech, and the nurse all tell me the same thing, that I have uh, fractured my scaphoid bone. And uh, I have an appointment for the next day to see a uh, orth what do they call it an orthopedic doctor a sports medicine doctor, and I'm going to tell you his name because this guy is an absolute dick. And uh, his name is Doctor Wilson in Minden, Louisiana. So, uh, you know, I'm go I go there the next day supposedly for a cast, and uh, I've read up on this and. When you have this scaphoid injury, this scaphoid fracture, uh, you have to wear the cast anywhere from 6 to 12 weeks. And he initially told me 3 weeks, and I thought that was a bit odd that uh, everybody, you know, everybody else on the internet and doctors say 6 weeks, possibly, you know, 12 weeks, depending on your health and how quickly you, you heal. But three weeks, I've never heard of anybody wearing a cast for three weeks only. Okay, I get there, and uh, Dr. Wilson pulls up the x-rays. Uh, first off, he's kind of a rude guy. Doesn't introduce himself, totally ignores my wife, and stands there talking to me with his butt in my wife's face. And uh, it was the whole thing, the whole thing was like no other doctor's appointment I've ever had, just uh bizarre and rude from start to finish so he looks at the x-ray and you can clearly see the crack in the scaphoid bone and he says well it's not a crack i said well what is it and he goes well uh you know it's nothing it's uh you can just here's what he said exactly he said you could stare at that x-ray all day and all day you could stare at that x-ray all day and and see cracks everywhere and we're all looking at it, me, my wife, his PA, and the doctor. And he's the only one that doesn't see the fracture in the scaphoid bone. His PA did. Anyway, uh, he ends up deciding that I don't need a cast, which is, you know, I was happy if I really didn't have a... But anyway, I had a, absolutely have a cracked scaphoid, no doubt about it, fractured, cracked, whatever, same thing. And uh, he says, well, I can give you a splint if that'll make you feel better. And uh, I, I said, well, you know, if you don't think I need something, then, you know, I'd rather not have it. I have a lot of stuff to do. So uh, he gives me a, 
a splint and I wear it for a day or two and, and my arm is still killing me. I just stopped wearing it. I did a little more research online. And uh, if it's not immediately placed in a cast, it may not heal. And if it doesn't heal, you have to go in there and you have to have surgery where they screw the scaphoid bone together. And, uh, you know, I, it hurts. I can make a fist. I can use these two fingers, which is really important. You don't realize. I mean, you could live without the other three fingers if you had to. But these two fingers, you do so much with them. Even buttoning your shirt. Try buttoning your shirt with one hand. It's impossible without these two fingers helping you. So anyway, I can move it some. I can make a fist. I, you know, it hurts to turn it. It, it's painful. And uh, I'm just not gonna go any further with it. I'm gonna try not to use it too much. And uh, I think that doctor's a whack job. Uh, every other common accepted practice is uh, as a cast. Uh, but it's, you know, it's a week later and it's past the point where it's started knitting. If it was going to, it would, you know, have already started knitting by now. So I'm just going to be careful. And I have a project coming up and that's what I'm getting at. I have a project that I can do with one hand. I'm going to paint my shop to match the color of my house. Remember the shed I rebuilt last year and, uh, it come out really nice. The paint looks great. And, uh, it's the color of my house almost exactly. So uh, I'm going to paint my shop. That's a thousand square foot building. And uh, I can do that with one hand. So that's my next project. Just wanted to give you an update on me and my wife. We're alive and I'm just about over whatever the hell it was I had. And no, I didn't go to the doctor. And yes, if I knew it was going to hang on this long, I would absolutely have gone to the doctor. I feel fine. I sound like crap. Anyway. <sighs> What else? Anything else new? I can't think of anything. Okay, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll uh, attach a couple of my usual dog clips to the end. See you soon. They're now offering a makeup date at a more secure venue. John Blackstone is following this. <laughs> On the Berkeley campus, opposition to Ann Coulter's appearance adds to a growing impression that conservative opinions are not welcome at many of the nation's public universities. Are you comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> Noe Tomas is spokesman.